Hi, hello. I'm I'm a man, <clears throat> and that means that I like manly things, like um, uh, explaining things to women and sports and you know wolf urine scented soaps and being an emotionally repressed alcoholic and um, sitting in chairs sitting sitting <clears throat> being a man it's really hard you know you've got the wife you've got the children you've got the job but it's also the better one of the options because if you're it's the best option I don't know why anyone would why would you not be a man and I'm I'm having a good time. I'm having a good time being a man, and it's good. But, um, I have some questions. I have some questions. Uh, there's, I've got, a, I got, a, I have a question. I've got, I've got a couple questions. Are men allowed to wear skirts? Okay, so, you hear me out. I'm pretty sure that most men have penises. I, you know, like, I'm pretty sure about, I haven't seen, I, I don't, I haven't, I haven't seen a lot of them, but I know, I have, I know that a lot of times, I think women doubt that men have penises, and, because I know a lot of guys do this thing where, they like to kind of unsolicited send photographic evidence of the existence of their penis to um, women, and um, you know that's reassuring because uh, I think that's something that women are afraid of a lot of times, where they're like, you know, this guy seems nice, and I gave him my phone number, but um, what if he doesn't have a penis? Um, but, you know, then he sends you a picture and you're like, oh, you know, that's good. But, um, as, uh, as a man, it's, um, less often that, um, uh, men send me evidence of the fact that, I, that, that, they, that they have a penis. You know, and I don't think it's all, I don't think all men have penises, but, like, you know, probably somewhere in the 90s percents, I think, you know? And I'm thinking to myself, you know, okay, you think about a skirt, right? And it's this sort of like, it's like fabric and it's, you wear it on your waist. And I'm, I'm thinking about this and I'm like, you know, dude, like, I mean, okay, men, penis, penises are in, they're in the, skirt area and when you, when you got pants it's like you know it, it can it's like tight there and you I mean you could wear a loose pant I, I you know but i'm just thinking myself like purely from like a, a practicality standpoint men it would make sense it would make sense if men wear skirts but i was looking i, I was outside <coughs> in public, I was looking up. Okay, so I went outside. I'm out in public. I'm out on the streets. I'm out and about. Seen a lot of men, dude. Seen a lot of men out here, you know. Not seeing a lot of skirts, dude. I think it's against the rules, dude. Like, I think that's, I think it's, I'm pretty sure that's one of the, you know, I'm pretty sure that's one of the rules that there is. I think, I think it was, I think God, I think it was God, dude. I think, you remember Moses on the, when he was on that, when he was, I think God came, came and was like, Moses, but, you know, you can't wear a skirt anymore, dude. Like, it's against the rules now, you know. I think that's what happened. I don't want to upset God, you know, that guy's got a lot of 
that guy's really powerful and he knows a lot about me you know I feel like when it comes to people that know a lot about who I am you know what my desires are what I think about at night I think it's you know God's up there dude you know like it's sort of like God Mark Zuckerberg you know the NSA my parents you know and I like those guys dude like I'm into I, I like my parents I like Mark Zuckerberg I like God you know I don't want to upset them you know and if God is telling us like oh you're not allowed to if you're a man you can't wear a skirt you know I, you know I, I don't I guess I'm I guess I'm I guess I'm I guess I'm, I guess I'm, I gotta listen to that, dude, like, I'm pretty, I, I think it's pretty, I think, you know, it's pretty clear this is illegal to wear a skirt if, if you're a man, you know, like, I, I, I can tell that it's, I can tell that it's against the rules, dude, you know, um, I can't keep track of every, I can't keep track of all of this, you know, it's, it's a lot of, it's a lot of work, dude, you know, I'm trying to keep track of it. I'm trying to remember all of the making cereal and if you put the milk in first and then the cereal or, you know, you broke the rules. What if I break the rules, you know? What if I'm, I forget, you know, that it's against the rules to wear a skirt or something, you know? And then, you know, I'm, I, I'm getting dressed one day and I'm like, oh, well, here's a skirt, you know, and I've got a penis, so... It, you know, it'd be not, it'd be make sense anatomically. You know, this must be for me. And then I wear it. And then what? You know, is God unhappy with me? Does He banish me to hell? Is that what happens? Do you go to hell, or um, do you get struck down by lightning? You know, and and where did the list come from? Is it is there a, a handy printout? You know. There's too many rules, dude. I can't deal with this. I can't deal with this. There's too many, there's too many things that are, you know, it's, it's, I can't keep track of all of these rules, dude. And there's so many of them, dude, you know? You, 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 you go to the grocery store and they've got bread for men now, you know? And they have, you can't, you know, they've man bread at the store. And so if I go to the store, I gotta buy bread. I have to, you know, I can't buy, can't buy bread you know, it's it's illegal if I'm dancing in public. You know, that's against the rules. If you go to, I, I think it's, I'm pretty sure it's, I'm pretty sure I can't go to Starbucks anymore, or at the very least, I'm not allowed to order a latte. I have to order like a flat white. I don't even know what that is, you know? I don't, I don't know what the latte is either, but I, I, I you know, I'm not allowed to like music. You know, like if, if you're sort of like, hey, this is a nice song, I'm having, you know, that's against the rules, dude. I was, I was watching TV or I, maybe I was on YouTube or I think maybe it was, I was reading, you know, those magazines that they have inside airplanes that y you can read the magazines and they tell you things. And I, it was one of those. And I'm hearing about this new thing that they've got. And it's it's a company, you know, and it's called Untuck It or un, Untucked or something like that, you know. And it's this guy, and you see, you know, I, I see the, the the boy who's selling, you know, he's the entrepreneur type, right? And I think he's wearing jeans, you know. And he's like, "Hey, boys, it's me. I'm an entrepreneur, and I know the rules. And one of the rules is you're not allowed to wear your shirt untucked. That's against the rules, apparently." And I know the rules somehow. I don't know, you know, maybe I have a very special relationship to Jesus, you know, and, and I call him up and I'm like, hey, what are the new rules? And then he's like, you know, you can't wear a normal, if you got a button shirt like this, you can't wear it untucked. Can't wear my shirt untucked. I have to, I have to buy this new un, untucked, untuckable, 
untuckable shirt and it's you know it's like it's a whole company now it's a whole industry you know and dude why can't I have that relationship to to God you know I don't want his phone number I want to I want to call him up and, and have him say you know oh and dude like here's the new thing that's going to be illegal for men to do you know men are not going to be allowed to like play cards anymore soon and unless you make man cards and then I could capitalize on that and you know I I want money I think right like isn't that something that I'm supposed to I need money to buy my man bread and, and I'm always only finding out about what's illegal now from from the from like ads you know I don't it's such a dude like it's such a hard thing I'm always you know like I'm watching YouTube right and um and then I want to watch some video you know that's like I'm I'm responding to I really like YouTube dude I, I really like the YouTube and um there's a lot of videos there is there's response videos have you seen that dude like people responding to things you know and it's like that's really cool dude i really like watching that because i i i i i don't know how to respond to things you know i watch a piece of media or something and i sit there and i'm thinking like i don't i don't know if what was this good i don't know and so you go on youtube and then there's a guy and it's like me responding to the new star wars why the new star wars was terrible you know and and so then you go to watch it and then i know how i feel you know like the new star wars was really bad dude like that's how i feel about it <clears throat> but sometimes before you can watch the the response video to the new star wars movies there's this ad you know it'll come up with an ad and there's this man on there and he's got hair and there's this one ad that i keep getting on youtube right now and it's this guy and he goes y you know you're you're not a dish you're a man and he he throws a dish at a rock you know and and then he's telling me that now it's illegal as a man for me to use soap you know i have to buy man soap and it's like this is so stressful you know i was just you know i i, I was expect i just want to know how i'm supposed to feel about the new star wars you know i'm just trying to watch youtube here you know i i'm just i i want to see this video i want to see you know uh, uh, me responding to the SJWs responding to me responding to the new Star Wars movies so I know how to feel about the re the response video that I watched responding to the guy that's responding to Star Wars you know and because I don't know how I felt about that response video that I watched you know and I'm just trying to watch this YouTube you know and I'm thinking I'm, I'm, I'm just thinking like I'm gonna be okay you know and then before I can watch the the YouTube there's a man on the television and I, he's wearing the jeans he's wearing blue jeans and he says you know you're not allowed to wear you're not you can't use soap anymore you know and it's like ah I, I, I you know I oh, geez you know this is how I find out about the new rules like I no warning it's just on the YouTube before I I think it, I think I think that I'm I think that I'm gonna go to hell. You know, I think that God's pretty angry with me, to be honest with you. You know, and I didn't mean to mess up, but I did. You know, I've already I've already I've already messed up. You know, I, I didn't ever have a chance to, you know, when I was like four, I think, um, I was into the Powerpuff Girls. I didn't realize, I didn't realize that I was gonna, that I had to be a man and I didn't realize that the Powerpuff 
I had Powerpuff Girl sneakers. It's against the rules, you know. And I didn't realize that at the time. I was young and I was, you know, it was young. And it was not, it's not an excuse. It's not an excuse, you know. Um, but it means I screwed up. And people don't know that about me when they meet me. I don't have Powerpuff Girl sneakers anymore. My, my shoes are <coughs> man shoes now. But, um, but, you know, God knows, and so does Mark Zuckerberg, you know, and, and I can't take that back. Okay. The thing about this is, um, I don't know what I am. You know, I mean, it's kind of like I, it's a I, I'm having a midlife crisis. I think, you know, um, I know that I'm not a man. You know, I've 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 worn soap too much. Of, you know, I listened to Taylor Swift once, and that's it, right? Like I'm not a man. But if I'm not a man. What am I, dude? You know? Do I even exist? I think I'm gay. I think there's... I think I think it's sort of like... There's... A, um... A line. You know? And... 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 You've got... Man... And then... On the other end... You've got... Woman... <laughs> And, and then there's like in between steps, you know, and I think, I think if, if you're a man and you, you don't live up to that, you get sort of demoted to being gay. You know, it, it makes sense for me to be gay, I guess, right? Like it, it you know, I've had a lot of, um. Quite a lot of people inform me over the years. A lot of, um, you know, uh, t t boys with the you know, uh, aggressive teenage boys, you know, and they they like to tell you that you're gay, you know, when you know, and so I mean that was a pretty pretty compelling piece of evidence and then you know I'm always doing gay things too I'm a um, a real expert on gay culture you know I, I, I'm I'm a big fan of gay culture and I do a lot of gay things you know and I have for many years you know stuff like um, having friends that are girls um, and um, having friends that are boys and um, cooking food and um, wearing a seatbelt and uh, drying my hands with paper towels after I wash, wash them in the bathroom. You know, there are a lot of benefits, I think, uh, to being gay, I guess. You know, like, you don't have to, um, uh, you don't have to, you know, publicly shame the waitress loudly at a diner if she gets your order wrong, you know, and, um, 
you can wear colors on your clothes. But it's not easy too sometimes, man. You know, I, I don't know, I don't mean to complain. Uh, I don't wanna complain, but you know, it's hard, dude. It, it's hard. So there's a lot of responsibilities, stressful things that you, you gotta do. You know, there's a lot of parades. You know, that's, there's um, brunches, you have to, there's a lot of brunch. You know, three o'clock in the afternoon, what are you doing? You're having brunch. Um, gotta have a lot of energy, I think. You know, very energetic and understand how makeup works, which, Jesus, that's confusing, makeup. Yeah, you know. Makeup's really expensive, dude. You know, I was at the store and I, you know, I was looking at the makeup and it's like, you know, 20, $20 for lipstick or something. I think the govern government needs to get involved, dude. You know, I think there's some shady dealings going on behind the scenes. And, you know, what's the government for, dude? Like, I don't understand what the function of the government is, but I feel like someone's got to get involved to, to stop how expensive makeup is. And I think it should be the government. I think we need, you know, government subsidized makeup or they need to they need to go in and, um, you know, I think there's a mafia or something behind the scenes and the government needs to stop it, dude. And, and I'm going to, I'm going to stop paying my taxes in protest until the price of lipstick goes down to, you know, something more affordable. There's a lot of things that are really popular, um, among men, uh, I, you know, and I know that I, I've lost my, my man card, you know, so I, I'm speaking purely as a outside observer here, but there's a lot of things that are, you know, clearly, clearly have quite the appeal that I don't understand, you know, I, I don't, I don't, I don't know why, why, why are there so many documentaries on Netflix about murderer serial killers dude you know like well, i don't need to know that much about what were what was their girlfriend like dude like what was this guy you know he murdered people how was did dogs feel about him you know and it's like do we need a, another netflix documentary about this like i don't understand i don't understand that one you know one of the things that men like doing is uh things that are dangerous you know, like sort of maybe you'll die and that seems to be a real uh, appeal. You know, you see videos of men and they're jumping off of cliffs, you know, or, or riding a bike without a helmet down off a cliff. You know, men are into cliffs, dude. One of the things that, uh, you know, there's a lot of men are into, a big market, yeah, big big market is uh, men like to you know physically assault gay people and you know I I can attest to this firsthand dude right like I'm here in this woods this was last Friday right so last Friday I'm walking in the woods and you know I start talking there's some high schoolers you know like teenagers right and they're doing drugs. It's a, it's like 11 o'clock at night in the woods. And, you know, so I, I go over to them and I'm like, hey guys, like, you know, how is it? How are the drugs? You know, are you having a fun time in doing drugs in the woods? And, um, you know, one of them really politely informed me that, um, that this is the gay woods, you know? I mean, you can tell it's pretty gay if you look at these woods. Um, I mean, oof. Yeah, so he was like, you know, this is the gay woods and this is where gay men go at night to like whistle at each other. Um, and you know, I guess he got me, dude, right? Like, a lot of people are under this misconception that uh, in our 
society today that if you're a gay man, you know, you could find people on Grinder, you know, or like at a gay bar. That's not what we do. That's not what we do. You know, I, I personally, you go to the woods, you whistle, right? You whistle at people. And, um, you know, I was having bad luck that day because all, all I found was a bunch of teenagers doing doing drugs. And, you know, so uh, so they, they beat me up. There was two of, two, two of them, right? And, and they're on drugs, too. I lost the fight. <clears throat> Which... You know, like, that's sort of what I was expecting to have happen. You know, like, like, there's two of them. I mean, okay, like, you know, I don't have, I'm not strong, you know, and, and just purely on a numbers game, you know, there's two, two of these boys and me, you know, I had no, I, didn't, I had no illusion Illusions. I didn't think I was gonna win this fight, dude. I was like, you know, I'm pretty sure if two squirrels decided they wanted to attack me, I'd lose. You know, I'm I'm weak. You know, and so I lost the fight. You know, and and I'm on the ground, and you know, one of them's on top of me, and one of them's kicking me. You know, and and it's like, okay, like, you know, you guys win. Good, good on you. You know. And they were really like, you know, I mean, they were pretty proud, dude. They were pretty stoked about the fact that they, the two of them combined, you know, had managed to take me down. You know, they were like, we won. You know, and I was like, yeah, you know, you should, you should be proud, dude. Like, that's, that's really, I'm really impressed. There were a couple girls there, right? As I mean, it's a whole group. There's five kids, right? Three girls, two guys. You know, so the guys were the ones that were like beating me up. And so after they're done beating me up, I say to one of the girls, I'm like, dude, like, you know, do you enjoy beating up strangers in the woods too? Or is that like just a guy thing? You know, and and she didn't, she, she seemed a little off put by my question. <clears throat> you know, on the list of hardships that I, you know, things that it is, hard about being gay uh, which I so clearly am um, I think getting kind of assaulted for being in public is I you know I'm not a huge fan of this arrangement if I'm gonna be honest with you it happens quite a bit you know I was at the grocery store the other you know a couple months ago I was at the grocery store you know and I was waiting in line to buy my groceries but you know I was I was being just too gay when I was waiting in line dude like you know and that's kind of on me it was really inappropriate for me to wait in line you know I wasn't talking to anyone or doing anything but there's this old man you know and he just shoved me a couple of times twice yeah he shoved me twice you know and um he kept asking me if I had a problem, which it's like, you know, kind of, dude. Like, I, I have a problem with you shoving me while I'm waiting in line at the grocery store. I remember I was wearing this shirt, but I had another button down, you know. Very homoerotic. And, um, and this man, you know, I'm, si I'm sitting on a bench, you know, and this man just, like, comes up and he spits on me, you know, and he's like, faggot. I don't know, you know, I mean, I don't know, right? Like, I shouldn't, I shouldn't talk. I, I haven't tried assaulting gay people randomly, but it just doesn't, I don't, I don't see the appeal. A lot of people think that being gay is um, about having sex with men, if you're a man. not you know like I've never had uh, I've never had a sex with a man you know and according to 15 year old boys still gay dude being gay is actually um, just what happens when you fail at being a man you know what I mean like if you're a man and then you 
break one of the rules, you're gay. You know, hate to, hate to break it to you. And, you know, I suppose having gay sex is against the rules, I think. Uh, probably not under all circumstances. I don't, I don't really know. I'm not an expert. Um, but it's windy. But, um, there's a lot of rules that have nothing to do with that that you can break that would turn you gay. You know, being gay, you know, that's like, you failed at being a man. And, and being a failed man is, I think, kind of one of the most dangerous, you know, to your health things that, that you could be, you know, I think failed men, you're getting assaulted a lot. You know, and you think about, I, you know, I've heard somewhere that, um, you know, trans women in particular uh, tend to tend to be murdered, you know, which like that's bad. Uh, you know, I don't think I don't think we should murder people, dude. Like, I, I think it's it's kind of a dick move, you know, and like between me and you. I know that uh, that trans women are not men, you know, like, I, I mean, it's pretty clear to me, but like, I don't think the murderers know that, dude, you know, like, I don't think they're, I don't think, I don't think that they're going, oh, like, you know, this is a woman, I murdered a woman, right? I think that people who murder trans women, and I don't know, because I haven't talked to any of them, you know, this is just me sort of making a guess, but my feeling is that they think they're murdering a gay man, right? They think they're murdering someone who failed to be a man proper. And I think it's pretty telling that that's one of, you know, the most murdered demographics, right? A lot of times when you're existing in public, um, you know, people have, people, people, they warn you about how, you know, something that you're doing or you're interested in is, is, is gay. You know, they'll tell you, they'll be like, oh, that's kind of gay, that thing that you're doing. And, um, you know, there's something kind of implicitly threatening about that dude, right? Because it's like, you know, if you're too gay in public, you'll get murdered, right? That's kind of the... That's the, that's the risk. And I don't want to get murdered, right? I'm pretty sure that like, um, you know, biting your pencil isn't gay enough to, to get you killed. But, you know, I, why risk it? You know, like I don't want to risk dying of, of murder, you know? I'd rather die of, uh, of heart disease. You know, I got this question, right? And it's like, how come men don't wear skirts? And I can't speak for all of them, right? I don't know. But I know for myself, I don't want to get murdered. I think most men don't want to get murdered. You know, I think that's something that uh, men are into, and I have a, a great deal of uh, sympathy and, and respect for for those guys for not wanting to get murdered. You know, it's something that we have in, in common. I have this theory, and I know that it sounds a little bit nuts, but I suspect that when men are, you know, beating up gay people in the woods, as, as they do. I think part of the reason that they're doing that is because they think if they don't, it'll turn them gay, and then they'll end up murdered. How can I judge that? You know, how can I judge that when 
I, I'm limiting the things that I do for, and I'm acting in, according to that same, out of the same fear, you know? Every day that I go outside and I decide, oh, I, I can't do this or I can't do that or I have to do this or I have to do that because I don't want to get hurt, which is every day of my life, every day I, I have that feeling inside of me. That's the same thing that these guys that are beating me up are doing. You know, they're, they're allowing that voice that says, oh, you have to be this, you have to be that. And I can't judge that because I know how scary it is to worry that you're going to get murdered. You know, that's not a, that's, that is a, a scary enough threat, you know, and it is an existent threat that I think, I think I, I, I would do a lot of things, probably including hurting other people, um, to avoid getting killed myself. I'm not angry, you know, and I'm not going to sit here and, and, and point at, all the people who have assaulted me over the years and say, oh no, that's wrong, you're naughty, you're bad, you know, uh, because it's just, that's just one more voice added to the list of voices that are telling you what you're not allowed to do and what you can't do and what you're wrong for doing. And I know that, that, that having that list existing in the first place is the thing that's freaking me out and making me act like an asshole. What I'd rather say You're okay, is what I think. I think that you're okay. I think that you're okay with me. I think that you're acceptable to me. I think it's okay if you don't follow all the rules sometimes and, and sometimes you, you buy the gay bread. And I know how scary that is. I can't take away the, the threat. I can't, I can't take away the fact that there are people that will hurt you if, if you mess up, I can't change that. But what I can say is that I'm not going to hurt you. And I, I, I think that you're acceptable. I think that you're okay. Um, You're not a dish, you're a man.